said that's for Mike in Canva and I want to show you how I did this speed it with Canva video so let's just take a glance at these 95 pages hold your breath this is not really that much then you will see that actually there is not a lot of work going on here so in my first page what I did is I just typed in the word if and I added some animated stickers I just went to elements and under stickers you have the category of shapes and under shape stickers you can find these kind of moving around shapes and I wanted to stay with all this black and white visuals so you can just find them right here so I'll just go back to the page preview and then you'll see that after the if I just typed in you a couple of times and each time I just enlarged the font after that right here I just added another sticker an animated sticker and then in this one I just typed in can and every time I duplicated the word can with some transparency and each time I just duplicated one more changed the colors here I just changed inverted it to white and black and then with the word it again I have this animated sticker then with the word you I just changed and made it vertical and typed in the Y Y O Y O U and then the word can and do I added a photo so you see the game here is really just very minimalistic then with the word it I just duplicated this page with the word it and changed the font every time so I have like a different uh, different types of fonts it doesn't really show here but when I scroll down then you can see that every page is a different font then I added a photo of a moon I already found under photos um, a moon that was with a transparent background you can see it right here uh, I'll just click on this you see a full moon isolated and I enlarged it every time just a little bit until it was large enough then what I did is I twisted it a little bit to make it turn so here you can see I gave it an angle and then I twisted it a little bit more and some more and I think that four or five times is enough let's go back to the page editor and after the moon I have this typewriter effect and I just typed in W and then added one letter each time in the same text box and then it will just look as if it is typed and then with the word you what I did that's kind of cute I'll just open this up I typed in the word you and then once I clicked on duplicate or control D on my PC then it duplicates not exactly one on top of the other but kind of like uh, with an angle to the right to the bottom right and once you do that and you hit control D again and again and again every time it will just be placed a little bit lower you don't have to move it around just go ahead and duplicate it and when I reached my final U then I just changed the color and added some effect that's it now I'll go back to waiting and what I did with waiting I wanted to create the illusion that the word waiting was just moving from the bottom part of my page towards the stopwatch so what I did is I'll open this I clicked on the text box and then each time with my arrow key I just counted 20 clicks and that would be 20 pixels and each time it would just move up 20 pixels so I did 20 and 20 more and then I'll just show you you see it goes up I'll just undo this until it reached almost the center of my page and let's go back to the page manager and what I did here well this might be the toughest page that I worked on which is not really that tough um, I created a black page and I added a rectangle and colored it white now for me to make the word four which is divided into half black and half white I had to save it first with a PNG transparent background so it would be a photo an image 
because I cannot do this over text. So what I did is once I uploaded my Word as a transparent PNG, I uploaded it here. You see, this is my black text and this is my white text. And what I did is I just placed one on top of the other. Here you go. And I just adjusted it so it would be inverted, the black over the white and the white over the black. So you can create this if your text is an image. So I did this twice and then I just went to the page manager and I duplicated this. I will have four pages and then when my video just plays it looks as if it is shifting or blinking and it looks like it's changing within itself. Then with the question mark I just did the same as I did with this word can over here up here you remember this can 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 so I did exactly the same thing I just duplicated my question mark and gave it a different transparency uh, the difference is by 10 if I'm not mistaken uh, until I reached this the last one and that's it on my last one on my last page I just added a made in Canva made in is just a text box I text I typed in made in and Canva is under elements um, you can look for um, you can just go to stickers and then under stickers just type in Canva and you will have some Canva animated logo here uh, I added a video as a background. I just went to videos and I looked up for explosion. Explosion. And then you get a bunch of different explosives. And I was searching for something that was black and white. And once I found my video, I just dragged it and it became my background. And I just had to edit and trim it a little bit. So you see, I went right here on the top to the scissors and I trimmed it. I just looked for the part that fits best my video and uh, I clicked on done and in my final video, my final page, I'm sorry, I just left the sticker made in Canva. Uh, one last page is I added another video which I found under TV noise. You have a bunch of cool things under TV noise and here I found something that at the end of it had something very interesting that I was looking for. I'll just go again to the scissors. And you see there is only one second that I took from this video, which is this uh, shutdown once you close your TV and you get this highlighted um, strip. So I just trimmed it to see that. And at the end, it's my logo with another animated sticker that I found under Element Shapes. Just go back to elements and I'll show you exactly where I found that. Um, there you go, stickers and under shapes. And I would just go and add circle so I could be more specific. Here it is. It's called glitch shape circles. So it's kind of a circle, an animated circle with an effect and it looks glitchy which works very well with this TV noise. One last and most important thing that you want to do before you finish is just go up to this white bar, go to the stopwatch and adjust your timing to 0.1 or 0.2 seconds. So then your video will get this stomp, very fast beat uh, vibe. So actually you have here 95 pages, but it's not that much of hard work. And the end result is quite impressive. It looks as if you went to some video editor, don't you think? So hope you enjoyed it and you play around with it. I'd love to see what you did. So see you next time. Bye. -ush.